everyone, this is Cindy, and today I am going to show you something I think is really exciting, which is a NASA app. So I don't know about you, but I actually didn't know that NASA had an app, and in fact they have a lot of different apps, which they list on their website, nasa.gov, and you can find it underneath Connect and Apps. So just a ton of different things to explore there. But today we're gonna to talk about this basic app right here, which is available for free on both uh, Apple and Android products. And when you go to the App Store or Google Play, it's this first one right here that looks like this, and you can just download it and go. So this is what the app looks like. This is the basic landing page. We have news up top, images, TV and audio, uh, video, uh, things like that all around it, missions, tweets, features. And then at the very top right hand corner, there are also different like notification things you can do. But we're gonna kind of ignore the notifications cause you know, you can adjust notifications as you want. So first off, when you click on all news, it takes you to just a ton of different news articles that NASA has put out. Uh, and if you want to read more about any of them, uh, for example, it looks like they just put out a new news article all of two minutes ago. You just click on the image and it will take you to that news article. Uh, if you click on any of the blue, uh, the little blue words, those are your hyperlinks. They can give you more information about those topics and you can just read and learn more. There are a ton of different topics to explore and you can really just spend a lot of time looking through all these articles. The next one is images. The images don't give you too much information. Uh, let's go back real quick. So basically you can kind of scroll down and look through all these images like this, or if you want to see a bigger one, you click on one and you get the larger full screen images and then just sort of uh, swipe on over to look at the next one. There is a little bit of information about each picture and to get, get that information from this particular screen, you have to click on the image again and we see the image changes and they give you a little bit more information at the very bottom of the screen. You can also rate uh, the images if you have very strong opinions about what Im about how much you like each image. Uh, and you know, just like click on it and, and give it a five or a two or whatever and hit save. And now you've contributed uh, to the rating system. And then we hit the back button and you can look at more images or just back one more time and that takes us back to the home page. Then we have TV and audio, which I think is super, super cool and was not necessarily something that I knew that NASA did. So you have to look all the way to the bottom of this screen right now and look at these tabs. We have NASA TV Public, NASA TV Media. ISS, International Space Station Views, Radio, and Podcast. Uh, it is actually playing sound, but I turned it off because it gets very, very loud. Uh, but you can actually hear the sound from each, um, each video. Uh, so if you like look on NASA TV media, you can see what they're broadcasting, uh, what they're broadcasting live. See? Breakfast, medical examination. Suiting up. So yeah, I'm gonna make that a little bit quieter. And then ISS, I thought this was uh, super cool because this is what the International Space Station is currently seeing and currently transmitting. Uh, for this they do give you more information uh, that you can look on on the left where you click on it uh, and they tell you some more things about uh, the International Space Station. But I thought that was like super cool. They also have a radio station which is pretty fun. <laughs> And I kind of guess that it's whatever NASA thought would be fun to listen to right now. So, you know, you can listen to something curated by NASA. <laughs> cool. 
And then finally, podcasts. The next commercial crew mentioned. Oops. Let's pop back into TV and audio podcast. Okay. So, yeah. So, they actually have a bunch of different podcasts that NASA does or recommends. Uh, it starts playing at the top like this. Let's make that quiet. Uh, but you can also scroll down uh, and click on any of these individually. Like if you wanted to listen to Houston, we have a podcast. Houston, we have a podcast. Welcome to the official podcast of the NASA Johnson Space Center, episode 188, Artificial Gravity. So you can just do that. Uh, and you can either listen to the podcast here or, you know, wherever podcasts exist. And if you are all done, you just hit the back button and that takes you back. Uh, videos, just a ton of different videos to uh, look through. Uh, like if you wanted to learn more about Akihiko Hoshide, you can just click on that and watch uh, this video about him. You can also like watch it later or save it on YouTube or anything like that. Going back. Now I don't always, I don't know about you, but I don't always know what the current missions are for NASA. And this is a really great resource. Uh, so if you wanted to learn more about the Artemis program, uh, which is going to try to get the first woman and the next man to the moon by 2024, you can click on that and learn a bunch of information. If you look on the bottom of the screen, you see that they have like extra little tabs uh, where we get, you know, like a map, uh, we get images, we get videos, we get news, and you just sort of click on any of those and that will take you to those items that are specifically about Artemis or about whichever of the uh, programs that you wanted to learn more about. Super cool. I really enjoy it. Uh, tweets are pretty self-explanatory. It takes you straight to NASA's Twitter feed, Twitter account, so that you can see the things that they have been tweeting about. Or you can, you know, follow them yourself on Twitter. And then finally, uh, for featured, features are, as far as I can tell, they are a lot of, like, interactive models. And they are just, you know, super, super cool. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting to go through them. Um, I'm going to allow once. And like you can see a world view. Um, it turns very fast, so, so go slow. But, you know, you can see where the International Space Station is. You can see where like different satellites are. You can also see, you know, where exactly uh, it is light and dark on the planet. Uh, you can see where it's cold or where it's hot or, or where the lights are on on the planet. It is just super cool and I've spent a good amount of time staring at it and just really having a great time. Uh, and there are just a bunch more of these featured interactive things to look at too. Super fun, super cool. It very much took me back to you know being a kid and, and getting really into space for the first time. And that is the NASA app. As you can tell, it is pretty straightforward, but it has a ton of cool information and interactive features. So, you know, if you've ever been like, I would really love to know what is going on with NASA, or I would really love to share, you know, space exploration with my kids, or just kind of whatever, this is a great app to get started with. And like I said, it is fully free for both Apple and Android products. So if you like it, you know, feel free to download it. And if you have any questions, also leave us a comment underneath the video and we will do our best to help you as you learn more about this app. So have a great day. Bye-bye.